Well, here we are now, day 23 of our 40-day fast, um, going through the life of Elijah, and we've made it to 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 14. Um, yesterday, on day 22, that's whenever God spoke to Elijah, and what he gave Elijah was a question. Elijah, why are you here? Why are you here hiding out in this cave? You know, and... Um, we, we, had, we had had that was the mighty big thing the wind had come up and the rain and the earthquakes and everything and God spoke to him in that still small voice and asked him a simple question Elijah why are you here well verse 14 we get to Elijah's response and Elijah tells God that I alone stand for Jehovah I alone stand for truth uh, Elijah went to this little kind of pity party thing. We'd kind of seen him do that a few verses back whenever he was hiding out of the broom tree. But this time he told God, he said, God, I'm the only one. I'm the only one. I'm all alone. I'm the only one standing for truth. I'm the only one proclaiming your good news, your, your gospel, as it were. Oh, Father God, it's just me against the whole world. <laughs> Have you ever felt like that? <laughs> like it's you against the world? Well... God asked him a question, and Elijah gave an answer, and this time God gave Elijah an answer. He said, look, Elijah, he said, I got 7,000 just like you. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes you think that you're the only one, and God's put the weight of the entire world upon you, and everything that you've got to be able to bear, it's all, it's all on you, and you're the only one who can do it. God said, I got 7,000 just like you. Look, you don't have to go through this alone. Someone told me this a few days back, you know, we're going through something really, really difficult in her life. And she said, I, I just can't do it. I can't make it. I can't go through. I said, you're not supposed to go through it alone. One, you're supposed to go through it with Christ as bearing the yoke. But the other thing is, you're supposed to go through it with us as a family, as your Christian brothers and sisters. We are here for you. You don't have to go through this alone. You were never intended to go through this alone. God did not create us as a family of God for you to go through this alone. He said, we are all members of one body. Look, there's a lot of things I can't do with my right hand if I didn't have my left hand to help me. I couldn't do anything if I didn't have my feet to carry me where I needed to go. Look, you do not have to go through this alone. Elijah, you're not alone. <laughs> look, whatever you're going through, if you need help, look, now, I will tell you this. If you don't ask for help, it's going to be hard to get help. Let us know. I don't scratch my left hand until it tells me it needs, it's got an itch. You've got to let us know, but know this, we are here for you. You do not have to go through this alone. You were never expected to go through this alone. Let us help you. You are not alone, Elijah. That's the answer God had for Elijah, and that's the answer I have for you today. You are not alone. Look, please, however you need to, if you're on Facebook, you can find me. If anywhere else, my, my email address is everywhere. And look, remember this, you are not alone. Father God, I pray that everyone in the sound of my voice, if they need someone to reach out to them and someone to help them out, Lord God, let me be the one. Father, if they won't get a hold of me, then put it upon my heart to contact them. But Father God, I pray that you give them the boldness and the strength to reach out to someone. Lord God, if they don't have a church family around them, then it's going to be awfully hard. I pray, Lord God, that you bring them in to a church family, a good Bible-believing, full gospel church, Lord God, that preaches and believes the entire Word of God. And Father God, let them find there the love and support that they need as we go through this journey together. They were never intended to go through it alone, and you never intended them to go through it alone. Father God, you told us to take your yoke for its light, and you told us to lay our burdens down. And Father, I pray even now that they find the strength to do that today. Lord God, let us always be available to reach out to our brothers and sisters in need. All this I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, remember that. You do not have to go through this alone. I hope you know by now that God loves you. you got to know by now that I love you. Now you get out there and make sure someone else knows that, they love, that you love them as well. All right? Look.